You sure got to climb a lot of steps to get to this Capitol building here in Washington. Well, I wonder who that sad little scrap of paper is. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Well, it's a long, long journey to the Capitol City. It's a long, long wait while I'm sitting in committee. But I know I'll be a law someday, at least I hope and pray that I will. But today I am still just a bill. As Schoolhouse Rock made many of us aware back in the day, the legislative process is complicated, demands patience and persistence, and it's almost always a long haul. I'm Jen Beer, Senior Director of Government Affairs at the Allegheny Conference and the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce Affiliate, here to talk about how we move policy through coalitions. You see, there's power in numbers when it comes to legislative advocacy at the federal, state, and local levels, and I'm here with examples of three powerful alliances. Let's begin with the Great Lakes Metro Chambers Coalition. To get attention in DC, it helps to be a part of a bunch, and that's exactly what the Great Lakes Metro Chambers Coalition is. Southwestern Pennsylvania is happy to be a part of that bunch. The Great Lakes Metro Chambers Coalition is 36 chambers of commerce working together across 12 states plus two Canadian provinces. If the region were a country, it would have the fourth largest economy in the world with an estimated annual output approaching $6 trillion. Together, we're advocating to reach 163 federal lawmakers through in-person meetings, calls, and letters of support on issues that are critical to this part of the country, with transportation infrastructure near the top of the list. The coalition championed last year's passage of the Fixing America's Surface Transportation Act, or FAST Act for short. The passage of the bill resulted in $305 billion in funding for roads, bridges, highways, rail, and transit systems over the next five years. The FAST Act will allow the Great Lakes region of the U.S. to travel full steam ahead toward enhanced connectivity and increased competitiveness. But not all issues require a federal focus. Sometimes you've got to go to the grassroots at the state and local levels, and we've gotten good at right-sizing our coalitions to match such needs. Compete PA is a great example. The coalition members represent more than half of all the private sector employment in Pennsylvania, one out of two workers. That gets attention in Harrisburg. Together, Compete PA advocates to make Pennsylvania's business climate more competitive, growing jobs, increasing private investment, and securing a stronger workforce. Compete PA was established in 2005 with the help of the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber, which has managed this 130-plus member-strong coalition since. The coalition quickly took up the charge for elimination of the capital stock and franchise tax, a tax levied against business assets. Pennsylvania was one of only a few states that taxed business assets in addition to business income. We're proud to say that at the end of last year, Compete PA helped to eliminate the capital stock and franchise tax completely providing employers across the Commonwealth with an additional billion plus dollars annually to invest in expansion and job creation. This made Pennsylvania more competitive when it comes to keeping and attracting businesses. Today, the Compete PA Coalition has shifted its focus to other uncompetitive taxes that discourage business investment and job creation in the Commonwealth. And to close out this short tour of just a few coalitions advocating on issues of importance to the Pittsburgh region, is the Regional Advocacy Coalition of Chambers, or RAC, as its members know. This alliance of 24 regional chambers of commerce works to educate and influence legislators at all levels of government on the common interests of the 10 county region's business community. Here again, transportation and infrastructure top the list, along with business tax issues. But government efficiency is also a big concern, especially municipal pension reform. Thanks to these and other coalitions, we can work in partnership with like-minded people, organizations, and places, capitalize on the power of numbers, and advocate with one voice here at home, in Harrisburg, and on the Hill for the kinds of improvements that will keep the Pittsburgh region at the top of the list of the best places to invest, work, and live. Follow what our coalitions are up to and lend your support at greaterpittsburghchamberofcommerce.com.